Nobody knows how to be a cancer patient. Nobody ever wanted that responsibility or that job. And uh, people are looking for guidance and education in a way, looking for ways to understand uh, what are they up against, what are their options, what are their choices. The optimal treatment of colorectal cancer today requires the participation of multiple specialists, such as radiologists, pathologists, medical oncologists, radiation oncologists, surgeons, and many other specialists. Because we individualize care so much, we can see subtleties in the way a patient's cancer has presented that can open up different treatment opportunities. We're constantly presenting our cases, for example, in a room where the best radiation oncologists as well as surgeons and medical oncologists are seeing each patient and helping us devise a unique plan for each one of our patients because no cancer is, is the same. And so for each patient, we really have to define basically how they need to be treated. And so that's the extraordinary part of working at Memorial, that you have those resources that allow you to do so. These patients are less likely to develop complications. Um, they are less likely to require a colostomy as part of the treatment, and uh, they are more likely to uh, survive the disease uh, long term. The secret, the foundation of this hospital really lies in the nurses. They are very focused, they are very caring, dedicated, extraordinary individuals that really understand not only nursing, but cancer nursing. It's obviously very important that we cure the patient, but we have to get the patient back to their quality of life, get them back to the usual routine that they had before this diagnosis of cancer. We discuss with the patients the impact on their quality of life the treatment will have. And this can be minor and it can be significant. And we give patients options on what type of treatment they want and what type of treatment is important for them and how it will affect their quality of life. I want patients to know and to feel that we are going to provide um, a supporting and caring environment at Memorial Sloan Kitten. I feel the success is when a patient comes back to me in the office and they're back to work or they're back to their usual activity and they're able to carry on their life. Those are the, I will define, happy days for me. <laughs>